Hey folks, Stronghold Crafter Cab here. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show how to add walls to your rooms and uh, other dungeon tiles. So, if you're new to the channel, and you like what you see, feel free to subscribe because I have a lot more things coming to the channel and I wouldn't want you to miss out. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, and if you are a subscriber, thank you, really appreciate it. For more information on my craft, visit my website, which is strongholdcrafter.com. And if, if you like this video, give me, I appreciate a thumbs up. And I'll see you in a bit. All right, now I've already set the the. Uh, our Foam Factor 3D scrolling table and here's uh, one of my scrap pieces uh, from a bigger piece I cut and I've set this up uh, for my uh, border wall pieces for a three quarter inch uh, measurement here and uh, remember uh, I'm going to turn on the power supply now I put it set between warm and hot it is hot so it will burn you, so be careful. Have a window open for ventilation. And here we go. All right, the only thing you have to be concerned with at this point is to uh, get a file or sandpaper and uh, get rid of the uh, angel hairs on here. That way it'll uh, stick better to the foam when you glue it in place. That about sums it up. Okay, after uh, measuring some uh, room tile uh, wall borders, I'm going to just uh, simply cut them with the... Uh, same settings for the uh, scrolling table, like so. All right, it is time to add the walls to the room. Uh, piece we have here. Okay, this is a normal 8x8 room and uh, I've pre-cut the uh, the walls as you can see here uh, and I in the uh, earlier video I've already filed down the walls with the angel hairs and ready to uh, glue them in place. Now, uh, after you file, make sure you pick uh, the part that you filed off as your uh, gluing surface and uh, one of these is going to be face up. The one that's got the best uh, scratches and texture I would put face up where the other part I would have glued down. Uh, I'm going to be using a cheap uh, low temperature uh, glue gun for this and uh, that works fine with this kind of foam. Uh, I never use the high temperature hot glue gun so I don't know how it would, how it would work but I'm sure it'll work fine, but it's just going to, there's more of a risk there of uh, melting the foam. So, I'll start from the, the back and work my way forward. And uh, these are scrap pieces. That's what's great about this. They don't have to be perfect, they just have to be cut to size. And you can glue them all together and who's going to care? Nope, nobody. Let's begin. As you can see in a very short time, it's already on there.
Okay, uh, that pretty much takes care of that. Now, uh, a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, you're going to be very quickly when you put the glue on and put it down. And when you put it down, uh, you want to press firmly, not a crushing grip, but firmly enough to where you'll get the glue to uh, flatten out uh, before it uh, cools and, and sticks everything in place. And if something still looks like it's a little bit out of, uh, out of measurement, just file it down a little bit, it'll be fine. Uh, it's not crucial because the part that's going to mesh up against other tiles is mainly going to be the flooring part. And uh, as you can see here, there's some cracks that's great because that's just improvised uh, uh, work, stonework with the, uh, the walls. So uh, just keep that in mind. And now comes to the uh, part of the uh, detailing. What I do, I keep this very simple. I just take a sharpie and just uh, alternate the uh, the cracks in the walls where the the bricks go together uh, with the flooring. And these are big looking bricks, but who cares? This is a freaking dungeon, of course. And maybe it's just it was built with bigger stone blocks and stuff. Now, if it it is uh, a crack that happens to be a, a join for two uh, pieces, then just uh, let that be. Of course, it's going to match up with the floor tile here, but it's cracked. But oh well, nobody's perfect. It's just the way it is. Just do an alternating pattern like so. All right, uh, the one thing I did not mention before is uh, to get this width here, which is approximately two inches, I just use a simple uh, pre-measured and cut uh, shimmy there, which isn't perfect, but it, it keeps me uh, a guideline as to what I want for uh, the room opening to be, which would fit easily a, a figure with a, a base this size uh, we're not really worried about doors right now but that's the doorway I I use for the tile and all okay uh, after you've uh, cleaned out your uh, wisps as uh, DMG calls it and you've marked uh, where your uh, detail lines are going to be uh, I don't go any further into detail because it's just takes more time but you could like make smaller bricks and stuff but I just go with a simple brick uh, layout pattern and I'm just going to use this hot wire foam factory uh, engraver and show you how easy it is to carve this
Who cares? Dang, angel hairs. That about wraps it up. As you can see, I, I didn't try to make all the uh, the lines perfectly straight. Uh, this is a dungeon after all. It's not something that needs to be perfect. And if something is a little off, all the better. It'll make it look like it's been worn down a little bit or something, or it's just, you know, shrewdly put together. So, thanks for watching. Bye.